to keeping up with Kamiko and if you're new here hi you're doing and um if you're returning welcome back guys anyway so today I'm gonna be doing a uh, pasta salad with ham and some um ribeye steaks and I have a New York skirt steak so we're gonna be doing that. That's on tonight's this evening menu. Cooking early. So I won't have to do anything uh later on. Plus, I like to have my dinner done by seven. Sometimes see between seven and eight. I feel like after eight, it's too late to be cooking dinner. And you know, you know, but sometimes it is what it is. If it's light, it's it's okay. But if I'm cooking dinner and it's gonna be something heavy like I don't want to eat it too late I have to eat it during you know I have to eat it a little earlier anywho um yeah so anyway long story short I like to have my dinner done by seven if I can seven eight ish it all depends so anywho what I'm doing over here I'm telling you guys right here I'm doing here is I pre um cleaned off my um steaks. I have um these are ribeyes and these here are skirt steaks. Okay. Like 16. It's like uh 12 ounce, 12 ounces of a uh, both. Um so Got that, and I'm gonna season it so I can marinate it. Um, and these, this, this the seasons I will be using. Well, I'm gonna be using rosemary when they get ready to go in the um, cast iron. But I picked this up at um, Ross's, and it's the roasted um, garlic, a rosemary, and sea salt. So I might not need the rosemary. Okay, so I won't even use the rosemary because this got it in there. So yeah, and this was a uh, $3.99. I still got the sticker on it. You guys can see. $3.99. And um, so I won't need this then. Because it already had that in there. And I am going to, well, just a tap. Well, I probably won't need this either. I'm not even going to use this because it's got garlic in here. So it's no need. See, it's no need for all that. I will add a little paprika. And I'm going to add some, um, it's got garlic salt, it's got sea salt in there. I just, I will add a little bit of, I will add a little bit of the Tony Chatras. Tony Chatras or Tony, Tony's Cha Cha. That's what I call it, Tony's Cha Cha. <laughs> oh, so, and, um, I'll be back when, um, well, no, I'm not going to be back scratch that that's what i'm gonna be doing on here so i'm gonna bring you guys back over here with me i'm gonna be also cutting up i have a red onion here and i have a bell pepper yes it's this bell pepper not green only because guys i used up my green bell pepper when i did my turkey next video if you had seen that video go check it out it was so good. Um, but for my pasta salad, I, I like to put bell pepper. Listen, I'm a bell pepper, onion type of chick, okay? Like, everything I eat, grilled, baked, I need my bell peppers. But I only got this. So, you know, what I tell people, it's my kitchen. I can do what I want. So, if it's your kitchen, you do what you want. But in my kitchen, we're using this in the pasta salad. Yes, we are. We sure are. And I also have some um um flour, I mean some cherry tomatoes on the vine. Going in my pasta, pasta. I'm gonna cut them in halves. 
I could leave them whole, but I won't. I'm going to cut them in half. And I also have little crumb snatchers already snatchers already been in my um, ham. But I told them they can get a sandwich or whatever. So the, I got some smoked ham. Have that. And I also put in my pasta salad. In Kamiko's pasta salad. She used, I put mushrooms. I some mushrooms. And I love black olive, guys. I didn't get one. I got two. Two. Black olives. And I like this. I hadn't used this. Um, this type before. But I like the zesty, robust, robust, robust dough. That's what it says. The robust. It looked good, so I want to try this one. Um, I did get, this is what I usually use. Um, but I saw this and I said, I'm, I'm going to use this right here. Just because it's going to put it, get that. Give me that. Uh, honey. And I also use the garden protein noodles. For my pasta salad, yes. Some people use bow ties, and some people just like the um the regular um noodles. They don't like the the veg, the garden rotini. They use the regular rotini. I like the I like the garden rotini. All my pasta salad. That's what I use. You can use whatever type of noodles you want. Some people use spaghetti um noodles. You know, you can use whatever noodles you like. I use the garden rotinis because i like those so yeah guys so um i'll be back when i'm seasoning up the um meat and i'm gonna chop i'm gonna do some chopping okay anyway yeah i'll be back okay let's get started seasoning this meat so you guys can see uh, can't see anything it's too bright. Hold on, guys. I am trying to bring you guys down some. Hold on. So now what I'm gonna do is gonna I'm gonna turn on my uh I'm turn on my water. Um put that on high. Give me a little salt. Add to my water. Just a little pinch. See, just a little pinch. A salt there. And I'm not gonna be using salt because I don't want myself salty. I'm not salty type person I have said that a thousand times so I'm gonna be using this seasoning hold on mm, guys I wish you guys can smell this oh my goodness it smells oh, God, it smells so good mm -mm -mm. it smells amazing so I wish they would have had the um, the little spouts on there, cause baby. Anywho, I'm just gonna rub that on there, like so. A bit more. Cover all the, you know, ends and stuff. I'm gonna turn it over. Okay. And I'm gonna let this marinate for about an hour. I'm gonna do the same with these bad boys. I'm gonna cut these in half because you know they're so they're big. So you know, I'm gonna cut them in half. You know. My kids love steaks. I got them on steaks. Like baby. 
they love this steak and i do too i don't eat them all the time but maybe when i can get one your girl gets one okay let that marinate and i'm gonna, I'm gonna put some olive oil on this too I'm gonna add olive oil to the to the meat when I get it in there. I wish I had some more of my GL Hughley. Is it GL Hughley? Yeah, it's sugar-free orange uh, marinade. Oh my goodness, that that is so good. I forgot to add a little bit of this, so I'm gonna add a little bit of that to my other steak, just a little bit. Not a lot, because it's already got salt on here. Just a sprinkle. I don't want that seasoning to get in there. You know? I want your meat to be really seasoned. Not salty, but seasoned. And then I'm going to add... <coughs> that Tony Cha-Cha always get me. Oh my goodness. I made a little bit of... Paprika to it, to it. Like so. Yep. And I'm gonna get that meat in there. I'm gonna size it around a little bit because I want it to really get in there. So I like to, I like to massage my meat. Okay, so we're just gonna massage it, massage it, get that meat, that seasoning, get all up in there. It smells so good, guys. Wish you guys could smell it. Ooh, so good. Could have put these out on the grill, but uh, I'm gonna do them in, on the inside. So summertime, definitely gonna be on the grill more. I gotta get me one. I gotta get me a gas grill. Is what I want. A gas grill. So, I'm going to take these gloves off. One of them. And I'm going to use this. <laughs> Just sprinkle a little oil on them. And get that all in there. Some EVOO. Like Rachel Ray say. EVOO. Looks good. Looks really good. So, enough of that. This over here. Okay, then I'm gonna get um some some air wrap. I don't see any. Oh, yeah, there. Well, I'm use it. I already took it out. Sorry about that. I'm just going to let this sit and marinate for an hour. I'll come back when I'm chopping up my um, bell pepper, tomatoes, and my onion. Okay, water is boiling. Getting used to it. I'm gonna use one and a half uh, noodles. One by one and a half. You know, one and one and a half. I'm gonna use half of these, not all of them. I'm doing. All right. Don't forget to add a little EVOO to your water so your noodles won't stick. Okay. So now I'm bringing 
guys over here to watch me cut up these potatoes. Tomatoes, I mean, I said potatoes. Oh, so for my pasta salad, oh yeah, I showed you guys what I'm using. This is really good to add to your salad. So good. Pasta salad or regular salad. And just give it another, give it another, another, just elevate the salads. Okay. So I'm going to chop this red onion up here. It's a little dark over here. Hold on. Y'all need some light so you can see. So I'm not going to use this whole onion because it's a really big one. And I did a pickup, so they gave me this humongous one. But anyway, we're going to make it do what it do, baby. Get all this stuff off of here. I love a red onion. And salad is so good. I just like onions in general. I used to couldn't stand onions. But I do now. You know, as I got older, I, I like onions. So I'm just going to chop this part. And then I'm just going to go down the side right here like that. And just use that part. Because I don't need all that onion. I really don't. It'll be too powerful. Onion is good for you. Great benefits. High blood pressure. All that stuff. So, um, yeah. So, we're going to chop it up. I like to take the first part of the skin off of it. <laughs> I'm weird like that. So I'm just gonna chop it. And as you can see. Just gonna dice them up. Chop it really thin. Wash those fingers. slide back on me. Think you're gonna cut my fingers? You crazy. <laughs> Take your time and cut. Okay. Then I'm just gonna rough chop it. I need a bigger knife. Hold on. I should have did this the first time, but I did not. I'm just gonna give them a rough chop. Chop them on down. Chop them on down. There we go. Trying to fill That's good right there. Get a bowl. Okay. Done with the onion and the uh, bell peppers. Now I'm chopping up my cherry tomatoes in halves. Putting them back in this till I get ready to mix everything up. And then I'm going to chop up some ham. to the side so I can um, chop up my um, chop up my ham okay 
closes. Uh, I got this some open. It's already been open. <laughs> I'm not going to use both, all of both pads, but since they went in this, I'm going to open up the other one and use. I'm just going to chop it up long and then dice them. If it'll stay that way. Good old pasta salad. I really do. Take up some of this. Now, here'd be the problem because it's a little slick. Grip this. I can grip it. <laughs> can grip it. that much. Add that to that. I like my salads fully loaded. It all depends. If I'm if it's a Caesar salad then I just keep it as as is but pasta salad or gar um like a chef salad definitely got to have the you know boiled eggs and all that stuff to it. But I got to have my, I have to have my uh, mushrooms, olives, onions, and bell pepper with my regular salads. And the same as my pasta salad. Let's put that in there. And... Okay, let's assemble this bad boy, okay? I'm gonna pour my noodles in here already drained. Already drained. Then I'm gonna pour in. I'm gonna add my olives. I got two. A little four ounce can of um, mushrooms. I already uh, poured the juice off of it, then I rinse them out. And then, you know, make sure they extra clean. Now, you guys can see it. See that there? And I got the tomatoes I chopped up earlier. Just gonna dump all up in there. All up in there. I got my onion and bell pepper. Just gonna put it in there like so. Gonna add my ham. I'm just gonna sprinkle it in there. Quiet on the set, please. I'm gonna sprinkle it off up in here. Take my finger, make sure I get them all pulled apart there. Salad looking good. So colorful. Then let's add our cheese. I'm just gonna mix all this together just a little bit. So get 
enough cheese. It's like a cup and a half cheese. Then I'm going to open this bad boy up. I need to add a little bit more Italian season, uh, dressing on it, but I don't think I need to. And I'm gonna add a little bit of this to it. Well, I didn't even open it. Hold on, guys. Make sure everything is coated with the um, salad dressing. down in the bottom and come up that way all the noodles will be coated with the uh, Italian dressing then I do a little twist <laughs> I do a little twist thing with my hand finish that up I could use spoon yes but what better better way to mix stuff up than do it with your hands? And that's what I do. Oop, dropped the tomato. Okay. Just making sure everything is evenly distributed. Taste it. Taste, uh, taste, taste. I mean, I'm trying to get everything in there. Some ham, tomato. Let's do a taste test, guys. Mm. 
It's so good, y'all. Mmm. So good. Wish you guys were here. I have plenty to share. This will definitely be leftovers for tomorrow. But it definitely will. So, I'll be back when I'm starting on my um, steaks. Look at that pasta salad. So delicious. So good. Mm-hmm. Make you some, honey. You're gonna love it. Got a little EVOO. Skillet in hot. Add some butter. steaks been marinating for an hour. up as I go. I'm going to let these cook for about, I'm going to let them cook for like eight minutes on each side. Then I'm going to pop it in the oven, oven for like 12 to 15 minutes and take it out. Kind of like, probably do, I'm going for well done today. Medium well, well done. It all depends. Yeah, I'll be back when I get ready to flip them up. Okay, guys, I went on and took them over on this side. And then I'll cook for eight more minutes. And then I'll do the other ones again. I'm going to pop it in the oven. So I'll be back um, when I put them in the oven. Okay. All right, guys. I'm going to take it out. I mean, I went on it. I got some more still in the uh, um, stove. It's got that little fat in there, but we're not going to eat that. We eating the meat part. That's just because I cut the steak up. But y'all see that? Look at that. Good and juicy. Y'all see that juice? Focus. There we go. Oops. <laughs> I'm trying to be professional. Ciao, bye. Nobody got time for that. I'm finna have me a piece of this steak. So it's like, it's not, it's like, it's like well done. Medium well, well done. Mmm. Tender. Chewable. It's not tough. It's just right. I was gonna go good with your pasta salad, baby. So thank you guys for hanging out with me in my kitchen while I do my thing. And if you have not subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? 
hit that button down below and subscribe turn that little notification bell on so you can get notified each and every time i upload if you want to see more of me i would greatly appreciate it thank you for hanging out as always god loves you and so do i smooches